If you've already created your app for this particular course, absolutely fine. If you haven't, please go ahead, click on the Create an App button, and then follow along. After naming your app, Bubble is going to offer you a free trial. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to upgrade. I would suggest doing it because this course does actually cover some paid features just because of what we're building. It's an end-to-end -end application and we need those paid features. Um, but you could also follow along without those paid features and just bookmark those lessons for when you want to come back at a later stage. So go ahead and activate your free trial. You can change your name here, but if you're happy, you can go to the next step. Let's change our app font to enter. If you have already set up your app, don't worry. We're going to be going through the styles tab shortly. But let's change it to enter. This is a really beautiful and clean font used by many, many tech companies. Click the next step. So these are the default colors that Bubble has provided. We are actually going to change and adapt these colors a little bit later on. But for now, we can skip ahead. Next step. And we'll come back to the Plugins tab soon. Let's click Get Started Building. OK, that's all we need to do for now. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we are going to start getting familiar with how design works in Bubble. I'll see you in the next lesson.